Hey my lovely dolls and welcome to another lovely makeover and today in the chair is my beautiful client and friend Chantel and she's getting ready for her Xmas or Christmas party and yes this is way past Christmas I know I took a break I was living life it's my birthday month so yeah so you know we prep the face with some Neurosermide by Good Molecules then we had add some brow gel to the brows and now we're quote-unquote laminating them letting them appear fuller than they are and now I am concealing the brows this is a mixture of LA girls and black opal concealer in uh, I think the LA girl is in um, cool tan and the the black opal is heavenly honey or something like that um, so yeah I'm just doing that and then I'm gonna fill in the brows now that the the gel the brow gel is um, dry and re remember to do that you can't apply the creaminess of your pencil any pencil you have as a matter of fact on that gel and you want it to be dry so that the hairs stay in place to keep full, full look so we're just filling them in right now giving her a nice shape on the brows Alright, so we're just gonna bring the concealer down and conceal our eyes so that we can have a very blank and but bright canvas so that all the eyeshadows and the pigments that we're gonna apply can be shown and have something to stick to. Yeah, so we always chop it up, me and my clients, me and my friends, when they're in the city. Yeah, definitely. Alright, so we're going to start by applying a light brown in the inner corner and the outer corner of the eyes. And we're going to keep it very blended and very soft. So that's the first color. It's a very light brown. And we're going to build up as we go. Alright, so we're still building it up. We're taking a another brown that is uh, about two shades darker and as you can see we're building up but we're concentrating it a little bit more in remember we blew out the first color and we're gonna take this in concentrate it in the inner corner and the outer corner um, more and then we're gonna take a fluffy brush with a little bit of a the brow brown color to kind of blend everything together and we're gonna do that on the other eyes yeah all right so what we're doing here is using a dense brush to apply a lot more of that brown brow bone color so that we can define the brow bones again and make sure that it doesn't look too blown out then we're going into defining that spotlight of this halo look and we're just gonna cut it out carve it out with some concealer I'm using some concealer here I'm using derma blend um, pot concealer and I'm just gonna take the flat brush and create the shape the spotlight shape in the middle that we want so we're moving into creating this halo so we're gonna take a little bit of the color that we applied the lighter color that we applied in the outer and inner portion of the eyes and we're gonna blow it in a little bit kind of to create like a shadow coming in on that spotlight and then we're gonna move on to blending that in
bad. The um, looking at the um, rice cooker from here. All right, so we're still building up, and what we're gonna do now is take a lighter brown, and we're gonna overlap that and kind of create more smokiness, more shadow. You know, it's gonna be like a shadow effect, and then you can see me now patting a little bit of a cream color in the center just to get it ready for the gold. of course blending is a must so we're taking that light fluffy brush with a little bit of um brow bone color and blending everything in because we want it to be seamless but take your time so that it does not look muddy now i'm adding the shimmery pigment to the eyes to bring that gold spotlight look that we want to really be highlighted on the area there we're gonna clean up the eye the under eyes to get away a little bit of the dust that did fall down and we're getting right into foundation so for today's foundation it's Maybelline um, dewy foundation um, I think the color is 365 or something like that if I can remember correctly and we're just gonna blend that all over the skin it does look a lot lighter because I'm doing concentrate on in the middle and then I'm gonna do the contouring to bring it all together Another reason for using this lighter shade is because her body is lighter than her face and we want it to have a cohesive look even though we're not going to drag it down too much on the, the neck or anything. We just want to, when you're looking at her face, you see that it matches her body. I'm now cleaning up, doing the cleaning up of the brows. You can see they're nice, sharp and they're looking on point, yeah? And what I love to do is take this brow pen and create some hair like strokes in the in the front of the brows just to bring back some life and it looks like hair strokes and yeah I love doing this this is something that I've definitely learned on the way now we're moving into the concealer I'm using concealer under the eyes I don't remember the shade right now but I believe I'm using um, Maybelline mixed with LA girl concealer I'm using the Maybelline because the Maybelline is more hydrating under the eyes so that it doesn't look too dry and then I'm gonna use the LA girls to punch it up or not And you can see here I'm using the lighter concealer to concentrate it under the eyes this is to brighten up the eyes but I'm keeping it concentrated and here I'm using the sponge to blend out everything and get everything cohesive and I really like using the sponge under the eyes because it's a little bit more softer and delicate and it does take away some of the products so that it looks a lot more flawless I love using the brush for foundation because it concentrates and gets it really into the skin here you can see me use I'm using a brush but I'm using a pressed powder to set the foundation and then I'm going to go into baking with the sponge after having all that baking I'm gonna this is where I'm applying the darker shade around the perimeter of the face to make sure that everything is blended I'm also gonna use this brush nice fluffy brush to brush away the majority of the baking so that we can get it settled in and looking 
cohesive <laughs> marinating together and looking all nice um, what I'm doing here is low lighting I'm con I'm highlighting the contour if in essence bringing that part forward so that the contour can be very exaggerated um, I like doing this with these dramatic looks because it looks okay with these dramatic looks but I don't really do it with subtle looks because it looks a little bit odd and I'm un applying a contour here it's a darker shade with more of a neutral undertone um, and then I'm moving into blending or <laughs> contouring the nose which she found quite funny because she doesn't really get the contour nose that often because she doesn't really need it um with her softer looks and then i'm moving into lining the eyes lining the upper portion of the eyes and the lower portion of the eyes we had a little mishap with this liner on the bottom line we had to make sure we get our eyes together i didn't show that part and then we're getting into um, blending those same shades that we have in the outer portion of the eyes under the eyes to create a blown out um, smoky effect under the eyes. And now we're applying this Milani blush. I think it's my favorite blush to use on her skin and darker skins overall. It's Vino, Red Vino on the cheeks. It has a bit of a glow, but it's very pigmented. Of course, with a look like this, we have to have some dramatic lashes to bring it all together and yeah we're applying those now all right so the final step in this video today is highlight and i'm using a peachy pink highlight to bring everything together and yeah this is the final step i didn't get to show the lips but anyways guys this is moya lovely signing out and remember to wear the best you for the world to see i hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully you'll be booking soon <laughs>